Okay. Today's question is, what is a valid hardship or do I need a hardship to be able to short sell my home? Well, amazingly enough, um, we've had a bunch of short sales that have been successful, been approved, and people that really didn't have a valid hardship. Um, they had moved, they found out they couldn't sell their home, and they stopped paying on it, and they then called us, and we worked through the short sale, they got an approval that they thought was good, um, and they agreed to it, and they sold their home and moved off their life. Amazingly enough, I actually have all sorts of people that call me and say, well, I don't have a hardship, can I still short sell my home? And then I start talking to them, and I'm like, you have like five hardships. And they're like, well, but that's not a financial hardship. And I said, well, let's talk about that. Um, some hardships are very straightforward. Divorce, job loss, income loss, death of a family member. Uh, those are pretty straightforward hardships. Here's some examples of hardships that we've had that um, were successful and the people closed and they didn't have to pay a bunch of money. Long drives that became unsafe due to client falling asleep at the wheel. Okay, I've had many of those. Many of those people had to move for their job and th that's their main hardship. They're just, if had they not moved, they probably would have, you know, rolled their car in the ditch or hit somebody head on them and dead. Um, it is a valid hardship. We had um, a client that moved, they were forced to move because they lived in a townhome community where a large percentage of the football players from the state live. And these football players are zooming around in their really, really expensive fast cars and multiple times um, one of the two very small um, children almost got hit and they said we're not staying here anymore, we're not going to wait until our kid gets killed um, by getting run over in front of our house and that was considered a valid hardship and they um, closed and didn't have to pay any money. Um, we've had people that uh, they had a dangerous dog next door and there's nothing they could do about it because the dog hadn't you know, managed to get a hold of them or their children yet, but the dog was vicious and they refused to wait until one of their kids got mauled or one of their friends got mauled um, and they ended up being able to close with that as a hardship. I had multiple, multiple people that had families that were overseas that ran into um, financial problems where the homeowner here had, made, had to make the decision of either sending money on a constant basis or having their family very likely you know live in squalor or, or die and every one of those that I've had has been successful. Cross-country moves to care for family members, people that had to move um, because they had to be closer to their brother, their sister, their mom, their dad, who was ill or aging. Um, people that had to move across the city to do it, um, been approved. And amazingly enough, it's et cetera, et cetera. I, I, I could go, I have a list of um, you know, almost a thousand hardships that people have come to us with. And um, these people are successful. They, they end up getting their short sale because you know, once the negotiator and the bank look at it, they're like, well, yeah, what's that person supposed to do about that? Um, hardships they've never seen before. They're, they're like, oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. That's a hardship. So realize um, you very likely may have a whole bunch of hardships that you don't realize. It's just how you explain them to the bank. We'll spend time with you, you know, asking you questions so that we can get a better understanding of what your hardship is, and then I can give you um, 
you know, some guy and says, yeah, that's a hardship, that's a hardship, that's not a hardship. Uh, being up, by the way, being upside down on your mortgage is not a hardship. Okay, if I take and I buy a hot dog for $50, it doesn't mean I have a hardship. It means that I have a hot dog that I should have paid a dollar for that I paid $50 for. Okay, no one else is gonna buy it from me. I understand that, but I'm stuck with it. So realize that's not a finance, that's not, uh, okay, let me change that. That is a financial hardship, but it's not a hardship the bank cares about. The bank doesn't care that you're upside down if everything else is fine. Being upside down with one of these other problems, then it becomes a financial hardship. So you have to call me. I can't help you if you don't call me. Hopefully, um, this is question 13. Hopefully, if you listen to questions 1 through 12, um, I think I only have one more after this. Um, but you need to call me. Okay. We'll take care of you. We'll get this done. We'll get you a good approval, not approval where you have to spend a bunch of money. And we'll get you on with your life and get rid of all this stress. I'm Joe Nice, my cell phone, 612-508-4100. You can call me day. You can call me nights. You can call me weekends. I'm working. And I'll take care of you. Thanks.